Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I wanted to talk about speedball paper, but first I wanted to give a little background history about the company. So Speedball is actually a U.S. manufacturing company, and they make stationery and art products, and they're based out of North Carolina. And this company started out as the C. Howard Hunt Pen Company in 1899, and in like 1913, they were turning out and making about 45,000 pens a day. And over the decades, they began rolling out tons of different nibs and additional art supplies. And in 1997, the company name was officially changed to Speedball after sort of a major reconstruction. But I wanted to talk about the paper and we'll get to some of the other supplies. So the first paper they offer, it's called Arnheim 2014. Now I don't own all these papers, so I'm kind of going to be showing you pictures of some and some products of the other. And this is a the first paper that they made in, and it is a heavier weight, 100% rag sort of vellum finish. And this paper is for printmaking. And I've never tried printmaking and I've never tried this paper, but it comes in packs of 25 and it retails for over a hundred US dollars to over a 200 US dollars, depending on what weight you are acquiring. So that is a product they offer. We'll get to their webpage at the end of the video about these products. The second product they offer is called Ben Fang. And this p paper was created in 1926. And this is for sketching. It comes in tracing rolls, calligraphy pads, and watercolor paper. And Blick actually sells this line. Now, I've never tried this product line either, and there is no cotton percentage number on this. So I'm going to assume that it's sort of a cellulose-based watercolor paper, and that this is probably a student grade paper, which is fine. And they actually purchased Bien Feng from Elmer's company in 2010. The next paper product they offer is Fluid, and they purchased this in 2018. And you might be familiar with this one. This one is the artist quality. It's 100% cotton rag, it's archival, it's watercolor paper. Um, when I compared prices with Arches, it's less than half the price for the 9 by 12. So I've used this one and I won't say it's in my top five favorite watercolor papers that are 100% cotton, but I will say it's probably in the top 10. And if you haven't tried 100% cotton paper and the price point of arches is out of your budget, this would be a great alternative. The other thing they own, and these are the things I have, are they own journals and sketchbooks. So they also acquired this company in 2018, and this is sort of the world company. And they have field journals and sketchbooks, and they all vary from around 200 grams to 300 grams. And all of them are cellulose paper and not cotton. So this one right here, which is the gray, it's a gray square. It has a blue on it. That's how I know this is 300 grams. There's a red poppy that's 200 grams. That's the one Blick sells. If I want this thicker paper, I have to go on Amazon. Now I've used one of these before. Again, it's 100% cellulose. Um, I will link this sketchbook tour. I painted all over mine because I did draw Halloween. So if you want to see what I was able to create on this type of paper, I'll link that. But these are sketchbooks that they sell and they come in different colors if you like greens and blues and reds and things. Anyway, so another product they sell is called Quattro, but it's not something they actually make. This is a, so Speedball along with making products is also the North American distributor of a bunch of products. And Quattro paper is one of those two. It's a sketching paper. It ranges from 90 to 110 grams. Um, it's for drawing. I couldn't find it on Blick. It's listed on Amazon. 
So Speedball makes the printing, the calligraphy. Um, I have these two nib holders and these are very, very budget. If you're just starting out and you want to try calligraphy, these are very affordable. This is a regular, this one is called an oblique because it comes at an angle. Um, they also, as being a distributor, they distribute, if you are familiar with this paintbrush, it's called Esconda, Escada Prado. And this one says Synthetico. So in Italian, that's synthetic. Um, they are the North American distributor for this paintbrush. And FYI, some of them aren't synthetic. They have hog bristles or badger or polecat hair. Um, and Blick does carry this. So they have a line that they produce of their own ceramic products. They have their own acrylic paints and mediums. Um, they are the major distributor of pink soap, if you're familiar with that. They distribute a willow charcoal. Um, if you are familiar with Art Graph, they are the North American distributor of this product. Now this is a hardened pan of graphite. If you prefer to paint on your pencil instead of drawing with a pencil, this is a great alternative. They also make these sort of, they're called Taylor chalks, but you can use these for drawing and painting. And I'm going to link in the description box other artists who own these products that have done demos with these because these products are fascinating. So they distribute those in North America. Now, I went on their webpage <laughs> and they did a revamp of it in 2018, but there is a bit of a wealth of knowledge to be found. So along with the comprehensive list of everything that they sell, they also have lesson plans for students for all the types of printing they do. So if you're interested in screen printing or block printing and you're doing things with schools and stuff, Check out the lessons plans. They range from sort of kindergarten to 12th grade, which in the US is ages five to 18. It's under their classroom tab. And when you click on their studio, they have a professional artist network. And that network, if you click on a certain supply, highlights all the different artists that use that supply and how they use it to give you motivation and inspiration and introduce you to other creators. Um, they offer demos and workshops in person and then they have a YouTube page with demos. And again, I'm gonna link all this different stuff. They have one of the best comprehensive lists of safety data sheets of all their products. So if you're wondering about how safe a product is for children or what is in it, their safety data sheet list is, it's aces. It's one of the best I've seen. Um, they have a free print, uh, screen printing instructional booklet on their webpage and it is over 40 pages. I will link that. Um, in January 1st of 2022, um, they contacted West Design Products, which is an arts and crafts distributor in the United Kingdom. And so West Design Products is now bringing the whole speedball line to the UK. So if you live over there and you're wondering how to get some of these products, that would be the distributor that you would have to contact. It's a lot of paper. There's a lot of paper, there's a lot of products. I, it's a really cool company. I spoke with the woman today. They have a link on their page to um, events that has one of the artists and his shows and he uses all their products and you can take a digital uh, 3D tour or go in person to see this gentleman's art show and I will link that. There's, there's information to be had. So if you're looking for tutor tutorials and how to sort of use some of these products, I, I think this is a really great webpage for helping with that. I'm really impressed by, you know, the lesson plans. That can be applied to all age groups, especially if you're just beginning and you're looking to get into this stuff. Um, this paper is a very great, I buy this, even though this isn't 100%, it isn't cotton because I like the hardbound and I can be rough with it. I can travel with it. It's just a really nice, sturdy, I know what to expect. 
It's a cellulose paper. So that's why I purchased this one. It's just readily available and I only create on one side. Um, if you have tried these other papers and you like them or recommend them, please put that in the comment section down below so other creators and artists can see if this is maybe something that they are interested in. Um, whether they're going to pick up something now or if they're doing a no buy, pick up something for next year. So I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.